In this video, I'm going to show how I created a login function within a Canvas app itself. Uh, so this is a custom login without the use of any uh, Microsoft accounts or third-party authentication. So first of all, we need to have a text input. So this component here would be these two components here, my email and password. And if we go to here, you can see that I renamed the field so that I can use it easier later on. So input password and input email, these two inputs. So after that, uh, I create a button and this button, when clicked, will check these fields against uh, my existing accounts which I've created. So where do I store these accounts? It's uh, using the this lift apps on SharePoint, Microsoft SharePoint list. So I have two accounts here. So these two accounts would be checked against these two fields using the function up here, if you have seen it. So this is the... Uh, the entire function it's quite uh, complicated but we'll walk through it <coughs> so uh, first of all we start off with an if statement so if uh, not is blank so if the uh, fields are not blank <coughs> so the few we were regarding to this lookup so if the lookup is not blank if the which means uh, if the account exists so what lookup does is uh, it checks against uh, it checks the the table or the list. So over here we have my list, but then you can use uh, Excel table as well. So my list is called uh, leaf app account. So we are checking in my leaf app accounts. Title title would be my username here. So title so title will equal to the text in input fields. So I'm checking that uh, one of the fields here matches my email and then within the same row uh, which is n so it's an n function within the same row uh, the password the password so the password column also matches the password view here so dot text and then after that i get the title which uh which gives me back this the first one so uh if this does not exist lookup will be blank and if it is if it is blank the if statement will not pass so it will go to the not so if the account exists it will go to this navigate home so it will go to my home which i will show later I have home screen here and then if it fails uh, i can put a comma here and then i can navigate to uh which is my error screen So let's try without uh, typing in anything. It should go to the error screen. So click login to so login error. Wrong name, username, and password. So if I try again, and then uh, press play. And uh, you can see here I got like ABC one two three and one two three ABC. So if I type those in, uh, one two three ABC one two three one two three ABC, and I click login. There we go. So uh, as you can see here, this is a mock-up of a homepage that I've done and uh, the login is successful.